Right, it's a Sunday afternoon. Well, it's Sunday morning still, actually. And we haven't gone away camping this weekend. And we suddenly realise it's a uh, mega ride weekend. So we're going to go and see some bikes for a change. We're Mark and V, and this is our adventures. First, going to go up onto the A38, see some of them fly by. And then we'll go up onto the Hoe, Plymouth Hoe, and have a look around at the bikes. Well, I don't know if you can hear me above this, but we're sat on the lay-by on the A38 now. We're just waiting for the bikes to start coming by. A couple have just trickled by. This is a yearly event and it's held in August. Normally attended by probably a thousand bikes. It should be brilliant. You're gonna see old and new. You're gonna see everything you can think of bike-wise. It's gonna be fantastic. I just can't wait. Really, I wish I was riding one, but I'm not. a bit of a 
shot to you all. I used to work with Mike Ranger and a few of the others. Back in the days when they used to race in the Isle of Man. And coincidentally, I won it on a Jeep Z900R. I'll try and find a picture of that and post in here as well. I hope you see when you go into GT, that's the boat we rode. Well, Jeff Johnson rode it. Rest in peace, mate. See more headlights in the distance, that means there's more coming. Big crew. So where are you in this ride? Tell me down below, tell me what you thought about it. It's the first time you've been on it. That's that Ken's run. <laughs> yeah, so we know. So this is the first time you've been on it? Have you been going every year since the start? towards the end of it now. They are thinning out. That has been amazing. Isn't it? There's still a few more coming. And I think what we're going to do, I hope you can hear me, I really do. The sound of the bugs is just amazing. So we're, um, we're going to follow them up to Plymouth Hole in a second. And um, we're going to get some more. show going on up there and then we're gonna walk around and have a good look at the bikes and um, I have some favourites I know what I like I'm more into the old 70s and 80s bikes really myself but um, everybody's got a favourite so we'll have a good look around more I'm losing my voice here I'm shouting so much a few more coming I'm gonna turn the camera back round to the AA at the moment. Luckily we have AA cover. I see. Bates down there trying to call the AA at the moment. And there we have another group come in.
that's the chap who was broken down opposite us earlier. He obviously got it going. I think it's an RD250 or an RD400 DX, I'm not sure at the moment. But hopefully we'll see it when we get up there. And uh, once we get up there, if we get up there, we'll have a good look around the bike. Mm. So here we are. Well, I don't know if you can really hear me over the noise, um, but we've been now on the phone 15 minutes before the South Anvia trying to phone him. And uh, the phone just rings and rings and rings. Uh, it's not really very good, is it? You know, the app tells you you're meant to have an app so you can do it all automatically. And what happens? You go through to you know, some call up there and they haven't got enough staff, obviously, to handle that all. Uh, so we're stuck here now with a flat battery. Well, as if, you know, one of these things is, you know, our fault for putting on the battery. But, at the same time, you pay for this membership of these things, so you get service. And there doesn't seem to be any service at all, and we're not, so I'm really having a good moment about this, in the middle of everything, but um, hopefully we'll get it sorted in a minute, and then we'll be back on our way. But, um, currently, a little bit nuffed. Well, we've been stopped by the road for quite a while, and I said to V, I said, let's just give the engine one more try, see if it'll turn over. And as luck would have it, it bloody started, didn't it? Um, so we're back on our way. One of our friends actually stopped to see if she could help us. Uh, but neither of us had jump leads, so that was no use. But anyway, we're on a run again. We're going to give the car a little bit of a run, just get a bit of charge in the battery. And then we're going to carry on up to the hole so we can see the bikes. And uh, hopefully today's not been a total washout. And the um, camera seems to be leaning left and right here because we're on a gimbal. So. Um, if I look like I'm going sideways, it's because the road's campering, and I'm not. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Hopefully we'll see some bikes in a minute. Well, that was an interesting hour and a half, two hours. We're finally up on Plymouth Hill, and uh, we're gonna go around and have a look at a few bikes. But in the meantime, while we're here, I'll show you a little bit of the scenery that you've got up here as well. I suppose we take it for granted living here, but if you don't live here, you might like it. And there's one of the uh, Brittany ferries coming in. Coming in from probably France, but it might have come in from Spain as well. More exciting is Gus Honeybun's train going. Yeah, is that Gus Honeybun's train? It is. Those of you who are old enough to remember Gus Honeybun on West Country TV, or Westwood TV, I think it was called originally, that is actually Gus Honeybun's train. And if you don't know who Gus Honeybun is, you really need to look him up on Google. So I'm sure there must be something about him there.
those of you who are a lot older like I am, that seat is a 2-4 seat. That used to be the must-have accessory as soon as you bought a bike. And we got a super traffic exhaust on here. Mech Max swinging on. It's all the little things we used to do to the bikes. That's beautiful. I always wanted a Z900, never got one. Well, I think that was a really good day. Had a fantastic time looking at the bikes up on Plymouth Hill and a uh, bit of excitement, if you can call it that, when we broke down. We're just gonna wander along now. There's um, a big swimming pool on the hill. And the I think Lido. The Lido. And um, I think you deserve to see this as well. It's beautiful. It's one of the b best features of Plymouth Hill, in my personal opinion. But below us now is Plymouth Lido. And you can see a ferry just out beyond. It's going out to probably Cool Sands, King Sands, that area. You've got the Eddystone Lighthouse in front of you in the far distance. And then slightly to your right, we have Drake's Island. And just in behind Drake's Island, you can see Mount Edgecombe. Well, we're back on the road again, and um, the battery stayed okay. Typical flag. So, um, you know, these things happen, I suppose. We've had a great day and we've really enjoyed it, even though we had that little incident. The bikes were absolutely fantastic and I think you'll agree with that. So many varying styles, you know, anything you can think of was there, really. I've had a great day. I've really enjoyed myself and I think V really enjoyed herself as well because she got donuts at the end, so she was happy. And um, if you've enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. You know, if you really enjoy what we're doing, why not subscribe to the channel? Just about to go around the bend, watch this. We all go lean in. <laughs> That's only problem with a gimbal. When you start going around corners, it goes to the angle. Anyway, we've had a really, really great day, guys. And um, hope to see you in the next video as well. Look after yourselves and we'll see you very soon. See you later, bye. I just wanna dance, dance